This video of mine is about anorexia nervosa which is often simply called anorexia. It's an eating disorder characterized by an abnormally low body weight and an intense fear of gaining weight and a distorted perception of weight. People with anorexia place a high value on controlling their weight and shape using extreme efforts that tend to significantly interfere with their lives. Uh, to prevent weight gain or to continue losing weight, people with anorexia usually severely restrict the amount of food they eat. They may control calorie intake by vomiting after eating or by misusing laxatives, diet aids, diuretics or enemas. They may also try to lose weight by exercising excessively. No matter how much weight is lost, the person continues to fear weight gain. Earlier I posted a short video about anorexia on this channel and today I am going to discuss this uh, illness in detail. I hope you have already seen that short video. Okay, well, anorexia is not really about food. It's an extremely unhealthy and sometimes life-threatening way to try to cope with emotional problems. When you have anorexia, you often equate thinness with self-worth. Anorexia, like other eating disorders, can take over your life and can be very difficult to overcome. But with treatment, you can gain a better sense of who you are and return to healthier eating habits and reverse some of anorexia's serious complications. Now I will tell you the symptoms. The physical signs and symptoms of anorexia nervosa are related to starvation. Anorexia also includes emotional and behavioral issues involving an unrealistic perception of body weight and an extremely strong fear of gaining weight or becoming fat. It may be difficult to notice signs and symptoms because what is considered a low body weight is different for each person and some individuals may not appear extremely thin. Also, people with anorexia often disguise their, disguise their thinness, eating habits or physical problems. Physical uh, signs and symptoms of anorexia may include extreme weight loss or not making expected developmental weight gains, thin appearance, abnormal blood counts, fatigue, insomnia, dizziness, or fainting, bluish discoloration of the fingers, hair that thins, breaks, or falls out, soft, downy hair covering the body, absence of menstruation in females, constipation and abdominal pain, dry or yellowish skin, intolerance of cold, irregular heart rhythms, low blood pressure, dehydration, swelling of arms or legs, eroded teeth and calluses on the knuckles from, the, from induced vomiting. Some people who have anorexia binge and purge, similar to individuals with who have bulimia. Well, earlier on this channel, I have posted a video about bulimia, uh, bulimia nervosa. I hope you have already seen that video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please see that because that is very informative video. Okay. But the, uh, the difference with the bulimia is that people with the anorexia generally struggle with an abnormally low body weight while individuals with bulimia typically are normal to above normal body weight. And there are emotional and behavioral symptoms uh, which include severely restricting food intake through dieting or fasting, excessively uh, exercising, binging and self-induced vomiting to get rid of food which may induce the use of uh, in which may include the use of laxatives, anemas, dietates or herbal products. Emotional and behavioral signs and symptoms may include preoccupation with food which sometimes include cooking elaborate meals for others but not eating them, frequently skipping meals or refusing to eat, denial of hunger or making excuses for not eating, eating only a few certain safe food usually those low in fat and calories, adopting rigid meal or eating rituals such as spitting food after chewing, not wanting to eat in public, lying about how much food has been eaten, fearing fear of gaining weight that may include repeated weighing or measuring the body, frequent checking in the mirror for perceived flaws, complaining about being fat or having parts of the body that are fat, covering up in layers of clothing, um, flat, mo uh, flat mood that is lack of emotion, social withdrawal, ir ir irritability, insomnia, and reduced interest in sex. Unfortunately, many people with their anorexia do not want treatment, at least initially. Their desire to remain thin overrides concern about their health. If you have a loved one you are worried about, urge her or him to talk to a doctor. If you are experiencing any of the problem listed, uh, which I told you, uh, or if you think you may have an eating disorder, you should get help. If you are hiding, 
your anaerobia from loved ones, try to find a person you trust to talk to about what's going on. Now I will tell you the causes. The exact cause of anaerobia is unknown. As with many diseases, it's probably a combination of biological, psychological, and environmental factors. First, I'll tell you a biological factor. Although it's not yet clear which genes are involved, there may be genetic changes that make some people at higher risk of developing anorexia. Some people may have a genetic tendency towards perfectionism, sensitivity, and perseverance, all traits associated with anorexia. Psychological. Some people with anorexia may have obsessive-compulsive personality traits that make it easier to stick to uh, stick diets and forego f- food despite being hungry. They may have an extreme drive for perfectionism, which causes them to think they are never thin enough, and they may have high levels of anxiety and engage in restrictive eating to reduce it. Environmental factors. Modern Western culture emphasizes thinness. Success and worth are often equated with being thin. Peer pressure may help fuel the desire to be thin, particularly among young girls. Now I will tell you the risk factor. An- risk factor. Anorexia is more common in girls than women. However, boys and men have increasingly developed eating disorders, possibly related to growing social pressures. Anorexia is also common among teenagers. But still, pe- uh, people of any age can develop this eating disorder, though it is rare in those over 40. Teens may be more at risk because of all the changes their bodies go th- through during puberty. They may also face increased peer pressure and be more sen- sensitive to criticism or even casual comments about weight or body shape. Certain factors increase the risk of anorexia, which include genetics. Changes in specific genes may put certain people of, at higher risk of anorexia. Those with a first-degree relative, a parent, sibling, or child who had the disorder have a much higher risk of anorexia. Dieting and starvation. Dieting is a risk factor for developing an eating disorder. There is a strong evidence that many of the symptoms of anorexia are actually symptoms of starvation. Starvation affects the brain and influence, influences mood changes, rigidity in thinking, and anxiety and reduction in appetite. Starvation and weight loss may change the way the brain works in vulnerable individuals, which may perpetuate restrictive eating behaviors and make it difficult to return to normal eating habits. Uh, transition. Whether it's a new school, home, or job, a relationship breakup, or the death or illness of a loved one, change can bring emotional stress and increase the risk of anorexia. Now I will tell you the complications. Anorexia can have numerous complications. At its most severe, it can be fatal. Death may occur suddenly even when someone is not severely underweight. This may result from abnormal heart rhythm, that is arrhythmia, or an imbalance of electrolytes, minerals such as sodium, potassium, and calcium that maintain the balance of fluids in your body. Other complications of anorexia include anemia, heart problems such as mitral ball prolapse, abnormal heart rhythm or heart failure, bone loss that is osteoporosis, increasing the risk of fractures, loss of muscle in females, there, is a, there may be absence of period. In males, decreased testosterone, gastrointestinal problems such as constipation, bloating or nausea, electrolyte abnormality, abnormality such as low uh, uh, blood potassium, sodium and chloride, kidney problems. If a person with anorexia becomes severely malnourished, malnourished, every organ in the body can be damaged, including the brain, heart, and kidney. This damage may not be fully reversible, even when the anorexia is under control. In addition to the host, uh, host of physical complications, people with anorexia also commonly have other mental health disorders. These include depression, anxiety, and other mood disorders. Also, these uh, people may have personality disorder, obsessive compulsive disorders, alcohol and substance misuse, self-injury, uh, self-injury suicidal thoughts, or even suicidal attempts. Now, I will tell you some prevention, uh, preventive measures. There is no guaranteed way to prevent anorexia nervosa. Primary care physicians, pediatrician, family physician, and internist, internist Internists may be in a good position to identify early indicators of anorexia and prevent the development of full-blown illness. For instance, they can ask questions about eating habits and satisfaction with appearance during routine medical appointments. If you notice that a family member or a friend has low self-esteem, severe dieting habits and dissatisfaction with appearance, consider talking to him or her about these issues. Although you may not be able to prevent an eating disorder from developing, you can talk about healthier behavior or treatment options. Now I will tell you about the diagnosis. 
If your doctor suspects that you have anorexia nervosa, he or she will typically do several tests and exam to help point, pinpoint a diagnosis, rule out medical causes for weight loss, and check for any related complications. The exam and tests uh, generally include physical exam. This may include measuring your height and weight, checking your vital signs such as heart rate, blood pressure, temperature, checking your skin and nails for problems, listening to your heart and lungs, and examining, examining your abdomen. Lab tests. These may include a complete blood uh, count and more specialized blood tests to check electrolyte and protein as well as functioning of your liver, kidney, and thyroid. A urine, urine analysis may also be done. Psychological evaluation. A doctor or mental health professional will likely ask about your uh, thoughts, feelings, and eating, eating habits. You may also be asked to complete psychological self-assessment questionnaires. Other tests, other tests such as x-rays may be taken to check your bone density, check for stress fracture or broken bones, or check for pneumonia or heart problems. Electrocardiograms may be done to look for heart irregularities. Your mental health professional also may use the diagnostic criteria for anorexia in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder, that is DSM-5, published by American, heart Associ- American Psychiatric Association. Now I will tell you the treatment. Treatment for anorexia is generally done using a team approach which includes doctor, mental health professional and dietitian, all with experience in eating disorder. Ongoing therapy and nutritional education are highly important to continue uh, to, to continue recovery. Uh, uh, so if your life is in immediate danger, you may need treatment in a hospital emergency room for such issues as a heart rhythm disturbance, dehydration, electrolyte imbalance or psychiatric emergency. Hospitalization may be required for medical complications, severe psychiatric problems, severe malnutrition, or continued refusal to eat. Some clinics specialize in treating people with eating disorder. They may offer day programs or residential programs rather than full hospital- hospitalization. Because of the host of complications and anorexia causes, you may need frequent monitoring of vital sun, hydration levels, and electrolytes as well as related physical conditions. In severe cases, people with anorexia may initially require feeding through a tube that is placed in their nose and goes to the stomach that is a nasogastric tube. Care is usually coordinated by a primary care doctor or a mental health professional, professional with other professionals involved. Uh, the first goal of treatment is getting back to your healthy weight. You cannot recover from anorexia without returning to healthy weight and learning proper nutrition. And those involved in the process may include your primary care doctor as psychologist, dietitian, and your family. Psychotherapy uh, may also be beneficial for anorexia. This includes family-based therapy. This is the only evidence-based treatment for teenagers with anorexia. Because the teenager with anorexia is unable to make good choices about eating and uh, uh, health while, uh, while in the grips of this serious condition, this therapy mobilizes parents to help their child with refeeding and weight restoration until the, until the child can make good choices about health. Individual therapy for adults, cognitive behavior therapy that is CBT, specifically enhanced uh, CBT has been shown to help. This main goal is to normalize eating patterns and behaviors to support weight gain. The second goal is to help change distorted beliefs and thoughts that maintain restrictive eating. Medication. No medications are approved to treat anorexia because none has been found to work very well. However, antidepressants or other psychiatric medication can help treat with mental health disorder. You may also have such as depression or anxiety. There are some treatment challenges. One of the biggest challenges in treating anorexia is that people may not want treatment. Barriers to treatment may include thinking you don't need treatment, fearing weight gain, not seeing and an, not seeing anorexia as an illness, but rather a lifestyle choice. People with anorexia can recover, however, they are at increased risk of relapse during periods of high stress or during uh, triggering situations. Ongoing therapy or periodic appointment during times of stress may help you stay healthy. Now there are uh, there are some lifestyle and hormone abilities which I should tell you. When you have anorexia, it can be difficult to take care of yourself properly. In addition to professional treatment, you should follow the steps which I t- I'm going to tell you. You should stick to your treatment plan. Do not skip therapy session and try not to stay from meal plans even if they make you uncomfortable. You should talk to your doctor about appropriate vitamin and mineral supplements. If you are not eating well, chances are that your body is not getting all the nutrients it needs such as vitamin D or iron. However, getting most of your vitamins and minerals from food is typically recommended. 
Do not isolate yourself from caring family members and friends who want to see you get healthy. Understand that you have your uh, uh, best interests at heart. You should resist urges to weigh yourself or check yourself in the mirror frequently. These, uh, these may do nothing but fuel your drive to maintain unhealthy habits. Uh, dietary supplements and herbal products designed to support the suppressed appetite or aid in weight loss may be abused by people with anorexia. Uh, weight loss supplements or, or herbs can have serious side effects. So normally there is hardly any role of uh, alternative medicine in this, okay? Uh, so this was my video about anorexia and nervosa. I hope you like this video. Uh, and if you have any uh, loved one in your family who is uh, suffering from anorexia and nervosa, please comment on this video. There are so many uh, videos uh, about uh, some different illnesses on my channel. You can see all those videos. And if you are you or your loved one is suffering from any illness for which you cannot find the video, please let me know. And if I get a time, I'll try to make a video about that illness as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next video. Bye for now.